Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode or a new series of um Life is Strange. Woo! Okay, so I know I'm a little bit late on the bandwagon, but I don't know, I thought it looked fun, so I just bought the whole season. And yeah, I figured I would play it. And yeah, I just finished Fran Bow, so I thought I need a new game to play. Let's go ahead and start. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Oh, yes, okay. So, I played it until dawn, and... Oh, I guess this is similar. Rainy, getting wet. That's lovely. Um, so yeah, I only saw like the beginning of this like 3,000 years ago. Wait, where's the lighthouse? Hi. He's up there. Okay, let's go. I, I don't know why I'm not running. Am I running? What am I doing? Holy shit. Okay, a warning. Strong language. Major audience is only. She's like, holy shit, and she just thought two seconds ago. Oh, I died. Oh. oh. Do we die? Oh. That was so surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now. Can Except you give me girl. an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Wait, wait. Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally uh, haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. What am I doing? She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Hold the left. Too obvious? Mouse button, drag towards look. What if Arbus chose oh. to capture people at the height of their beauty? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Oh. Was this our school project? Her innocence. Yeah, it was a flop. She had a brilliant eye. selfie on... Um, so, yes, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I don't know I'm why I'm taking a selfie in class, work. but okay. I prefer. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. Sorry. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. This is a small. Your class. generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture oh, has never. always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Um, you're asking me? <laughs> you're asking me? L let me think. Um. 
You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created okay, daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp off. reflective style like a mirror. Now you're me. totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Ew. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? It's onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about it. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in oh, the Everyday the Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Um. Okay, so there's Miss Showoff and the teacher. This teacher's pet. I bet she, like, Victoria has doesn't a waste a second them. kissing ass. Oh, yes! Victoria is kissing ass. Even her ass. school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 50? I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Okay, that's just like a camera. Okay, run away. Hey, what, what's up with you? Hi, Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh. oh. Hi, Max. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process. Um, Victoria's already won. I think Victoria has already won the contest. As usual. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Dang it, should we sure. have gotten like tea with her? Like, oops. I guess we can't talk to her anymore. Computer, what's Mr. Teacher looking at? Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Oh, interesting, I guess. Okay, mm. let's go talk to Kiss Ass. Uh, Mr. Jefferson, that's your name. Thank you. Okay, you excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. Ooh, I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Um, do I have do to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. All right, um, I guess that means I won't give you my picture. Bye, honey. <laughs> like, did I give him my picture? Like, no, oh, don't think so. So. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You you welcome to the real world. Ew, hot. Then I might send you. Oh, a hey, that's Queenie picture. from American Horror Story. Hi, Queenie. Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I kind of thought, like, so fucking I was boring. talking. I was like, oh, my mouth isn't moving. Oh, we're about to get this little intro. She's so fucking shy. <gasps> oh my god! I never. I guess I'll put like a warning at the beginning, like warning, <laughs> f bombs, <laughs> and every other word bombs. It said like strong language and then like other things. So it's rated TV mature. Well, not TV mature, but like, mature. Mature audiences only. Life is strange. Oh, we're walking now. Hey, Alyssa. Oh, is this the music I'm listening to? Um, okay. Down. Down with it. Hi, who are- I don't want to look at you, that's weird. Like, oh, splash water on my face. Um, where's the bathroom? Is this music copyright? Like, <laughs> Brooke? Hey, Brooke, you look- you look cool. Are you playing Minecraft on your iPod? I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Alright. 
I'm just trying to talk, because I don't know if this music is copyrighted, so... <laughs> hey, get out of my way, sweetie. Where's the bathroom? Oh, hey. There it is. Run. Run to the bathroom, Max. That's her name. Enter. Oh, there's gonna be some girls talking shit about me in here. I know it. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Why am I about to melt down? <sighs> Illuminati is true. Wait, who's a bitch? This says... Rachel... Amber is a bitch. Poor Rachel. Now who would bother to write that crap? Probably Miss Victoria. Is trying to like hook up with the teacher. Ooh, let's like do this. Just kidding. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Tampon dispenser. Uh, no thanks. I don't think I need any right now. Mirror sink. Okay, use the sink. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. That didn't sound like me. Fuck it. <gasps> I just ripped it. And I said the F-bomb. <laughs> when a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Butterfly effect. Butterfly. Okay, girl, flat, you don't flat. get a photo op like this every day. Oh. Get your camera, girl. Wait, what am I doing? Yes. That was really random that there was a butterfly in here. Well, I guess not. Oh, wait, am I in the boys' bathroom? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Nathan, you all right? Don't Are be you scared. Girls you own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're um, the boss. Are you gonna assassinate us? So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my stepass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am <gasps> or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that I thing down! I was about down. to say he was Ever. sexist. Tell me what she to was. Do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! <gasps> he shot her. Whoa. Huh? What the fuck? How? How can that be? I, I was in the bathroom. I forgot this game. You like. He shot that poor girl. You turned back time. I held up my hand. And then <gasps> I was back here. I have to hold up my hand to do These that. These pieces of time can frame us. To, like, I already heard this lecture. Okay, I already heard it. From light to shadow. From color. Now to Kate shadow. is being hassled again. Oh, that's why I was and like. And if Victoria's oh, phone again. rings, this is real. Now. Shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Why Arvis? Hold right. Because of her Mouth images of rewind. Oh my God! <laughs> That's awesome. I did it. Can you give me I an actually did a photographer it. Who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. A human time machine? Yes. Anybody? Wait, what am I doing? Bueller. Max, Diane don't freak Diane. out. Not there yet. You go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because wow, of keep it together, Max. What do I do? I'm like totally haunted uh, by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. When I took still the same stupid picture. Tortured, right? So everything seems the same as before. Keep that to yourself. 
Seriously, though, okay, fine, I can I'll frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Yes, yes, yes. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Portrait has been popular I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point can I save her? Portraiture has yes. always been a vital Let's aspect of art and photography. I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to... Um... I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. Honey. We can talk more after class. Mm, Is there anybody who knows Jefferson wants to keep me after Lewis class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style. Shut up, like Victoria. Now you're There's someone's life in danger. Zone. Sad face. Sad face. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Out. Yeah. Just what I thought, Victoria. What? <laughs> Just what I thought. Max. While rewinding, hold shift to rewind faster. Ooh. Max, since you. I have to use the bathroom. I'm sorry, but I really have I'm to use the bathroom. Bottom. Wait, what? <laughs> nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Wait, Is what? there any chip to kind of Oh, I have to rewind like more. Alright. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? Yes, I can. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't even the see Daguerian that. The process, invented by a French oh, painter named I learned it. Louise Daguerre. I learned it from Victoria. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. The Daguerrean process now. made portraiture hugely popular, Victoria, mainly because it gave face. the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Okay, deja vu, deja vu. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Let's do this. Yes, Victoria, you still have Hopefully I see don't. you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Okay, fine, mister. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. I, I love on. John Lemon. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> Just kidding. Press control to quickly undo your previous action using the rewind. Why? Why am I doing that though? Yes, Victoria, you still have oh, to do Oh, I guess so I can just like speak to him Excuse naturally. Me. Mr. Jefferson, oh can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future. Ooh. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. God, I'm so desperate. Like, let me rewind just so I can, like, kiss up. Like, I mean, like, go ahead, Max, but, like, girl, that was a bit much. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. Wait, was it? I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Oh, I'm actually running. <laughs> just jogging, doing a little friendly jog down the street. Don't worry. 
Okay, we have to save her. Yeah, what's that? Okay, Max, retrace every step. Oh, yeah, I went I here. washed my face. Washed my face, yep. I shredded my photo. <gasps> then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. And then here we go. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know what are you doing, Max? Or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Uh, Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wow, sir, it's happening again. People trying to control me. You are going to get in hell. No, he has a gun. I Nobody should do something else. Okay, well, I was gonna break this, this, but that, that was cool. Me, I need a hammer to break it open. Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, no, 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 no. I can help her. <gasps> Damn it. I wonder how we'll get around this. Oh, I messed up. Okay. Okay. Let's go fast. Ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying. We're going to get in hella more it? trouble for this than drugs. Nobody on, would take. ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get Come that on. gun away from me, psycho! Oh, oh my god. Shit! What? No. Okay, wait. No, 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 you are not no. affected by the rewind. You retain facts and inventory objects. I have to rewind now. Oh, okay. Okay, let's do this. YouTube rewind. All right, Don't how do I break it now? Tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control oh, me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Yes. Get out of here, blue-haired girl. I saved you. Another shitty day. God, psychopath. Why is he running out with the that gun did like not in his happen. hand? This cannot be real. It is I room. just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Oh, hey, butterfly. Do not freak out. Just chill, just chill. Like <laughs> just we're just leaving now. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you yeah, should be outside. Um, I'm I trying to, to get out. The bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Okay, sexist excuse pig. For, what? for whatever you're up to, your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Matson. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield yeah. alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. whatever your name is. Cottonson or whatever. Oh God. Okay. What do I do now? Just run outside. <laughs> Should I talk to you? Ugh, fine. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm. I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I'm gonna report Nathan. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan I had to. Prescott. I had to. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened um, next? Any principal would take this then, seriously. Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is serious charge. No, you won't. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing Ugh. it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. This is bull. Of it's course like this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell really? now. Really? I have to rewind? Should I rewind and change my story? Oh my god. 
I didn't want to. I was happy reporting him, but I mean, I guess it didn't do anything in the first place. But, rewind time. Hi, mister. Yup. You look a little strip. Hide the truth. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's I'm nothing to hide. Not hiding I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. What was I doing? You've only been here crack, for three like... weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. I feel like this one was worse, but I mean... No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. But... I... That didn't work out so great for me last time, so what would be the point? Okay, we're outside now. Blackwell Academy. They're all just chilling, like... There's a fire in there, who cares? Seems pretty big to be a normal, like, high school. Okay. Um, I think that's it for this episode of Life is Strange. If you guys enjoyed, please let me know. Um, I'll be sure to do more next episode. But, um, yeah, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!